I finally managed to assemble the X1 Stealth Gen 3 kit on this frame, but it's not final. I'm waiting for the brackets to mount the controller inside the triangle since it doesn't fit under the kit housing. The frame pivot extension is right on the bottom where the controller is supposed to sit, so I'm planning to place it right where the bottle holder is and I'll get some custom brackets and I think it's going to look pretty good. The new uh, motor, it's actually the improved version, it's better efficiency, it should be slightly more power and it has better water resistance. For the first test I didn't have the patience so I wrapped it with the packing tape. This motor it's so tiny and these are the heatsink walls and I'll show you in a moment there's a gap between 4 to 5 millimeters between the motor and the heatsink walls. So this motor when you remove the cover it's so much smaller inside. This new version it's more refined, better water resistance, better presentation, more compact. But first let's unbox it, let's see how it's delivered and after do a quick install and go over the details. I placed the water during the weekend and the box is here already. Finally delivered, let's unbox it and uh, see how this thing looks like. So we have the X1 Stealth Gen 3 and here we have some specs, instructions, scanning barcodes and some more information here. And this is the kit guys and it's packed pretty well. Wow, this thing is actually not that heavy. Look at it. So I have the controller here. Look at the small motor. This freaking thing is 1500 watts. This is super cool. Have a tensioner, it looks just beautiful, guys. All right, let's see what else we have here in the box. So we have the throttle. We have all the cabling. The axle that was saw in the futon kit, the same. And these are the new arms. The tailing is super cool. I already guys showed you the on the futon kit, so it's the same thing. And uh, we have here this uh, caps. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let me show you quickly the kit closely. So this is the entire thing that you get in the box. Arms, caps, the axle, and the wiring and I should use one of my batteries, the spacers, this is all you need. So hopefully uh, we can mount this tonight on the frame and uh, let's we'll see how it's gonna look like. Actually, yeah, let me put the frame there. I'm right on top of the axle, so it's gonna be right here on the bottom. So it's actually, if you look from the top, it lines up with the rear triangle. So this will be super cool. And I have here the plastic plate. So that will help. I don't need to put anything in between. So I don't know if I use all 1500 watts because I don't know how strong this frame is, but we'll test slowly, gradually, and see how we get there to the max speed. But this is super cool, how light it is. I have to find a way where to put the battery. I'll probably get uh, an extension and put the battery in my backpack and I connect it for the frame. There's nowhere to mount um, the battery there's no it's only this for the the bottle right the cage for the bottle there's nothing on top so i have to find a way how to strap the battery maybe underneath here or maybe on top if not i'll put in the backpack super excited it got delivered so fast here and uh, it looks uh well built make sure you put grease there and the spacer goes right here and after we feed it from the side but to get it from the side you have to remove this uh, cover from the top but if you look here, it's actually even smaller inside. I'm not sure why we have a gap in between, but pretty much this is all housing. It's cooling fans, right? Heat sink, and right here I have the rubber gasket. So it is very well protected and it is actually waterproof. It's all sealed on both sides very well. The chances of the water to get in from the side are very small because you have the cover on top so it's all going to splash away and from the bottom because the gravity is not going to get there unless you really submerge it. But from this side the cover is going to go on top right here and it's perfectly machined and it covers so it is maybe not completely waterproof but it's uh, water resistant and very well sealed and protected. Now my uh, cage for the controller does not fit here because of the frame 
and I'll have to connect somewhere somehow the controller so it doesn't uh, sit here in the way maybe here in the front will be placed in front of the battery or maybe inside the triangle so that's to be decided but uh, it's a very easy process and very fast to install this goes through first make sure you put the right spacer then goes in and just uh, screw it in now what I do here is I will connect the bracket first and make sure you don't lose this uh, gasket here that goes inside on the motor Actually, I'm surprised uh, this uh, cage doesn't fit here, but I like how everything clicks in and uh, it's so precisely CNC'd and so well done. The entire structure supports itself, so the pressure is not going to be only here, it's all around on the, on the brackets here. Slides in right in there. Opposite side, we put a washer and thread in the safety ring. So, so you said 28, right? 28. You said uh, 17. You said 25, right? Yeah. And uh, it is 26.12 pounds, and that's with the kit. So the lightweight wheels actually weigh like under 30. No. Probably 35, maybe 37. Somewhere yeah. there. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll no, double it's check. Gonna be, it's gonna be like 39 with the tires and all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we got big fat tires. It has uh, 2.8 or 3 inches tires. Yeah. That's pretty big. 2.8. Hey guys, Hello. I would say probably 40 pounds. I'll say 35. 40 pounds. All right, ready? Okay, uh, should we put this by the seat or? Right about here. I'll, let, I'll tell you when to let go. Okay. You can let go. You go. 45. 45 pounds. <laughs> I was up for 10 pounds. Nice. 45 pounds. Yeah. Wow, sorry. I was expecting like less than uh, less than forty. Oh, you were wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> so much travel I have very high-end components here uh, good brakes good suspension I like the triangle a lot of travel you know really a light setup so I expect uh, to get really fast speed from this bike and uh, compared to any other uh, electric mountain bikes I tested so far usually 17 to 21 miles an hour stop speed uh, here without even pushing too hard I was able to get 35 miles an hour so it is a beast and uh, they advertise about uh, 25 to 35 miles in range with assist I want to test that and see how much I can get out of this uh, 10 amp hour battery so it's 52 volts so it's 520 watt hour uh, it's uh, very compact and uh, the battery I could not feed it uh, properly I'm still looking where to mount it so if I decide to put it here I have to change this mount and put it here on the side so it's flat and doesn't reach uh, the tire I have about 180 millimeters of travel so uh, very good very comfortable frame and uh, I don't have enough room to test it but I reached uh, 
35 miles an hour and acceleration is really fast it's pretty cold right now outside i'm really impressed with the how small this motor is and how much power delivers and even uh, on a higher load so much power and it is very comfortable very smooth uh, very soft it's just enjoyable to pedal this bike uh, the controls are very compact nice quality very comfortable you know to adjust and to change uh, while you're riding overall i'm glad that i was able to finalize with this drive for this frame because i feel like this frame has so much suspension so comfortable to ride and uh, i cannot wait to do a full review guys and take it on trails and show you what this kit can do but so far i'm really pleased uh the bike weighs uh 40 4, 45 pounds i was expecting a lighter weight but still so this is the quick uh, follow-up on the progress and the full video review coming soon i still have to finish the wire management and uh, clip all organize everything so it looks nice but this is the other thing that i want to show you guys i had this uh, redshift uh, product since summer i just did not have time to review it and show it to you but this is a very cool uh, bike kit when you flip it changes the color and it is super bright at night time so besides that light that i mounted it here uh, you can actually put in the pedals and the uh, visibility is insane and uh, really increases safety uh, while riding and i think it's pretty cool they're kind of beefy and uh, a little heavy but uh, the lights are coming out so you can actually pull it out as a magnet and this is how it looks like and they automatically turn off when you remove them or you, when you stop uh, pedaling so and then when you start pedaling it should engage automatically so i'm not sure if i have to play with the settings but very cool product and uh, the bike it's almost ready guys full video coming soon uh please let me know in the comments below what you guys think and what would you like to see but this is uh so far how much i was able to uh, assemble and finalize between other e-bike reviews let me know in the comments what do you think uh, don't forget to like and share this video and i'll see you very soon with a full review